tornado myths. We've heard a lot of those over the years, and our team coverage continues with Fox 23 meteorologist Michaela Smith and a look at some of those myths that we all seem to hear a lot over and over. Yeah, one of the most common myths, James, that a lot of people think is an area just like we're seeing right behind me, going to an overpass that you should pull your car up underneath if you're driving and you get in a tornado warning, that you should stop your car and get out and go to the top of it. Well, that's a myth. That's actually a very unsafe place for you to be because the winds pick up under an overpass and it forms like a wind tunnel. So debris can actually shoot across underneath and it could be very damaging to you. So that's just one of the first, first myths is that you should not go to an overpass and get up under Underneath that. Another very common myth that people hear is that tornadoes could never hit a downtown location like downtown Tulsa could never get hit by a tornado. And again, that is a myth. Actually, quite a few downtowns have been hit by tornadoes. Some of them that we can list have been Atlanta has been hit by one, Fort Worth, St. Louis has been hit even four different times by tornadoes that have gone through their downtown location. And that shows another myth that people say that tornadoes could never hit in the same location twice. And we know that as well from more or Oklahoma, that that is another myth that is not true, that tornadoes can go through a different area at a different point in time. We talk more about your house now. Some people think that a common myth is that you should go to the southwest corner of your house, or even when we're talking about tornadoes can't jump across water, I think we'll jump to that one first, that can't cross bodies of water, and Sand Springs proved that to be wrong, that we had a tornado jumped in different locations. It jumped across Keystone and the Arkansas River. So again, tornadoes can cross water and sometimes are even stronger there. Now we talk more about your house the southwest corner. Some people think that's the safest place to be, but tornadoes move in every direction. We saw that just last month in Oklahoma City on the 19th when storms are moving different directions. So if you want to be in the most center part of your household, that's the best place you can be. And one last final myth that people think is that you should open up all the doors and windows in your house. Maybe that will help the pressure. And that again is a myth. You just need to take the time to get sheltered in the most interior room that you can be or a storm shelter. That's going to be the best place to keep you safe. And again, you talked about possible storm chances in the forecast, James. I'll let you talk more about what we can expect not only this evening, but looking ahead the next several days.